Welcome to our video, also to Japan issues. Eye-opening U.S. military scorecard and urgent wake-up call for Japan. A recent analysis revealed a declining U.S. military, a timely reminder for Japan that deterring war is and always has been a costly endeavor. We would like to share the commentary, November 23, 2022. By Mr. Yoshinari Kuros, Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief of the Sankey Shimbun Newspaper. The U.S. military is facing a formidable challenge. In October, the United States Department of Defense, DOD, released three strategic documents. The National Security Strategy and the National Defense Strategy provide strategic guidance on foreign and national security policy. While the updated Nuclear Posture Review sets out basic nuclear strategic policy, all three documents identify China as America's most serious security threat. The reasons cited include advances in nuclear capability, coercion in the Indo-Pacific region, and antagonistic posturing in the wider international community. The 2022 National Defense Strategy states that China now represents the most comprehensive and serious challenge to U.S. security. Crucially, the publications establish that an effective counter-strategy requires U.S. cooperation with allied nations. This is encouraging for Japan as a nation directly exposed to the military might of China. But is the U.S. diplomatic and security strategy a practical prescription for restraining an increasingly aggressive China? Despite the hope placed on the U.S. military by allied nations, including Japan, there is growing concern about a weakening U.S. military in the American security establishment. The U.S. military has enjoyed the title of the world's strongest nation since World War II. However, the reality is that it could be defeated by China at its current rate of decline. Just as the Biden administration announced these reviews, the National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, was in session in Beijing. The Chinese Communist Party officials amended the party's supreme dictate to include a new phrase. Build a world-class military. The target date for this objective is 2027. That coincides with the 100th anniversary of the military's founding. Many experts predict that China will attempt its military invasion of Taiwan by then. The U.S. policy think tank the Heritage Foundation released its annual U.S. Index of Military Strength report in October. Alarmingly, the report downgraded its assessment of U.S. military strength from marginal to weak in 2022. It was the first week rating the heritage has given in the past nine years. Conversely, it rated Chinese and Russian military powers as formidable, the highest on the scale. A criterion for assessment was whether the U.S. military could win two major regional conflicts simultaneously. But the report further warned that the U.S. military is at significant risk of not being able to meet the demands of a single major regional conflict. It also did not deny the possibility that Chinese forces could repel U.S. forces. The U.S. Navy and Air Force were considered to be in particular decline. With tighter budget constraints, some estimates suggest the number of ships in the U.S. Navy fleet could drop to 280 by 2037 if this trend continues. The Heritage Report suggests that the U.S. Navy needs 400 ships to accomplish its missions. According to the Congressional Research Service, the U.S. Navy added five ships to its fleet from 2015 to 296 in 2021. In contrast, the Chinese Navy added 132 ships to a total of 348 in the same period. At the same time, the growing China threat is not just about numbers. Its aircraft catapults and nuclear submarines have also challenged U.S. technological superiority. The U.S. Air Force was rated as very weak due to aging aircraft, declining flying hours, and a critical shortage of skilled pilots. 
but a strong U.S. military is crucial for a functioning integrated deterrence strategy by the U.S. and its allies. These include initiatives such as the Free and Open Indo-Pacific Strategy to deter China and Russia from unilaterally changing the international order. During the U.S.-Soviet Union arms race in the 1980s, U.S. defense spending exceeded 6% of its GDP. It ultimately led to America's Cold War victory. The current ratio is only about 3%. History shows that deterring war is not a cheap endeavor. And that fact is a wake-up call for Japan. That's all, from the commentary by Mr. Yoshinari Kuros. Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief of the Sankey Shimbun via Japan Forward.